everyone, it's Natasha, and I finally finished another project, and, and this actually has been done for a while, and I think I might have made several videos of this, and I keep not being satisfied with the way they turn out, so hopefully this will cover everything of what I used in this project. So what I decided to do is um, send a little thank you to someone who inspires me um, on YouTube, someone I've kind of chatted back and forth with, and... Uh, they provide endless source of inspiration, not just for myself, for many of you. Um, so I wanted to make a little sketchbook. So what I did is I started off with the chipboard covers. Actually, it's recycled cardboard. And I know that this person really appreciates utilizing what you have on hand and recycling. Plus, I made it look a little bit like a Smashbook. So the front and back covers are made out of my version of Capri Sun, which is the greenie boxes for my dogs, the doggy treats that my dogs l practically live on. So I have a surplus of them. I never toss them in the recycler. I always reuse them. And then I covered it with a piece of craft paper that has been run through a cuddle bug folder. And I believe it's birds and vines. And I'll include a full recipe on my blog of all the products that I used. Then a piece of green linen texture, die cuts with a view, um, just basic paper. It's, here's a little piece left over. It has a negative and a positive. It has linen texture on one side. And it's the way that I bound it that's interesting. So what I did is for this, I used a Allison Education, um, I think this is a flashcard die. Maybe it's a I don't remember the actual name, but again, I'll include it. It's four and a four and a half or four and three quarters by three. So I cut everything, including the covers, the layer of um, the craft paper on the inside and on the outside and on both ends, as well as the inside. Now the inside pages are this um, canvas texture for oils, acrylic paints. You can also sketch on it. It has a really nice texture. It's like a linen wool, woven linen. And you'll see right here, ever so slightly, maybe when I bend it, there's a perforation on each page. And I did that by using my um, Purple Cows trimmer, which is, this is the one that I use for cutting chipboard, but it's this die or this uh, cutting wheel. So it creates perforations, and I cut the perforations at half an inch in order to have room for, and just locks in there, and there's another one which is a scallop, then I have the plain straight one in it. So that's the that's the trimmer I use for chipboard, uh, but I use that for every piece. Now the binding was done um, at a quarter inch width in order for it to fit into my Your Story photo, which is how I bound it. So what I did is I cut this piece of the green um, cardstock, scored the quarter inch, and then with my glue gun, extruded a bead of glue, which I then spread evenly with this uh, little spatula. And the spatula is from the uh, plaid set that has the mat, the spatula, a couple of fingertip protectors, and a little pokey tool, which are heat resistant. And that was perfect to use to spread the hot glue, because no matter how asbestos fingers I have, there's no way I could have spread the hot glue myself. And this doesn't, the glue doesn't stick to the spatula, so it's a great little tool. So once I had that paper with the glue in it, I let the glue set up, then I butted everything up and put the paper with the glue against the spine. I did add a couple of strips of red line tape on the outside paper. Attached everything together and the paper inside was still loose. Then I turned this machine on and it heats up really pretty quickly when it when it heats up, when it's heated up to temperature this little hourglass light goes on then you put the whole thing in press it all the way to the bottom and there's a heating plate at the bottom this is turned off at the moment so 
I'm not hurting myself. There's a heating plate at the bottom that heats up that glue that's set inside the strip of paper and then binds all the sheets together into a book. So that was pretty cool. I thought it was pretty cool. And this is intended to be used with um, the little booklets that come with uh, your story photo. And I got this from hsn.com. They had marked it down to uber duper sale. It, I think it was $14.95, including 30 pack of their little sheets, which is what, they, what these look like. And there's the strip of glue that came with these. And they have the strips of glue sold separately. Unfortunately, on HSN, they have been sold out for forever. So I decided to make my own because I looked at it and I thought, that looks like hot glue to me. So that's how I adjusted it. I made the little strip on the paper, um, set it inside. It sets, it heats up in 60 seconds. Then there's a little resting spot for you to put whatever item you just heated up for it to set up because glue, um, hot glue has to set up. And then once it's set up, it's totally usable as a little sketchbook. And then they can use this, rip it out, and it's like a little sketch, it's a little sketchbook on the go. And I did uh, cover both the outside and the inside of the sketchbook with the embossed paper. And all this is is craft craft and a strip of green paper. So um, I had completed this as part of my Ustream playing that I've been doing. I'm sorry about the dogs. And while I was playing on Ustream, quite a few of the girls um, who were there, I made a little scrap one. So I'm going to give this one away. And all this is, is just a couple of scrap pieces of paper I had left from cutting items for the for this project. And my test run of the little glue trick, and see, I put a little too much glue, if it will focus. There, I put a little too much glue, but that's okay, because this isn't going to be ripped out. It'll just be a little ATC size, and I put both white cream and some pre-stamped paper in here. So I'm going to give this away. And for those of you who were on my Ustream watching me complete this project, Say so in the comments below because I want to give you a little something, something special. But everyone is eligible to win this little scrap piece of notebook that I made the same process with a quarter inch binding that was glue, you know, hot glue set. See, it'll crack, but it won't, it won't come out. You could probably rip them out, but so it's bound like a book. So there you go. I'm finally finishing this project. I think I've mentioned all the products that I used. What I'll do is I'll take some close-up photographs, post them on my blog, including the recipe for this whole project, as well as the, if available, links to any of the products that I've used, like the Your Story, the Your Story photo, which I think is still available on HSN for the super price, and then this uh, Glue Arts, I think it's Glue Arts, uh, set from Plaid, and I got this from Jewel, so I'll include a link to her shop as well. And this is the Purple Cow, and the reason it's so small is this is only a section of it. This um, attaches to a guillotine part, but I, this also can be used on its own. And since I have such a small um, work surface to play in, I usually just use that piece. I have the guillotine part which I use from time to time, but not as much as that one. So if you have any questions about any of the steps that I took to create this, uh, or if you would like to see this, uh, the binding done on a video, please let me know. Um, again, don't forget, you leave a comment, you're eligible to win this cute little ATC notebook, which I made just from scraps. See, that's why I never throw anything away. So thank you for watching, everyone.